Oakley Doakley, this is going to be a demonstration, hopefully that records this effing time, of the QML light switch device. Um, the purpose of this device is to be an example on how to make DCE devices as well as experiment um, into creating a user interface based on QML, which is a QT markup language um, based on QT Quick from their latest release in the 4.71 release. Um, available in the 2.1.0 SDK, as I'll point out in a minute. Anyways, now for the exciting stuff. Um, what is it? It is a light switch, like a Z-Way light switch, or your X10 light switch, or any other light switch for that matter. Um, doesn't matter that it's QML. The point of this um, th is just basically to have a DC-based device, not PHP or anything else, but something that actually talks directly to the router. Um, and is controllable from the router. Um, as you can see, the QML light switch, which is device template, and has everything that's been made. Um, basically, by creating a device template, after you create the device template, uh, what you do is you run DCE Gen and SQL TCPP or whatever. It's written down somewhere in the thread and some other things and it gives you code stubs which then basically act as your hooks into the system and then you meld them together um, with Tom's help I, and lots of reading of launch manager old I was able to figure out how to do this on a very basic level anyways so now we're on the actual device page as if you were looking at it from the device tree you can see it is actually not registered at the moment um, you also see it's very basic floor plan info and an object type that's about all and that's all it gets just from its the type of object it is I didn't add any custom uh, device data to it now uh, the first thing is we are going to fire up our device so I can show you something here's the QT SDK this is actually the QML file that defines the entire user interface here available in the SVN um, anywho so fire it up da, 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 da. okay a couple key things to note um, started it up see this is actually hold over directly from that DCE generated code stuff um, this is just my basic log file uh, connected to the router with the device ID it retrieves its device ID uh, then that's just a timestamp here we go basic stuff loading UI and then these are all just pings and I have that there as debug just so I can know that it's pinging away um, now where's our device there she is she turns on she turns off she turns on she turns off it's basically almost like a real physical light switch now we jump over to the DCE side uh, the light is in on state so I'm just gonna say off actually before we do that sorry one quick thing I'm just gonna really load this now you'll notice how registered was not there now that it's running but it is actually registered with the router yay next thing turning it off you'll notice text changed and the color changed something's going on with the pixel maps I don't fully understand at this point in time because it's supposed to change images but I think we've gotten the point here we can dynamically change text and other properties from the DCE router in our user interface um, these can be pushed with as simply as you know events emitted from one place and showing up and basically becoming actionable in devices that they're targeted towards um, we'll go back to on and if I see a focus it'll actually and what you're seeing there with the inconsistency is more a matter of my newness to the QT programming environment and as opposed to I would say shortcomings in QML um, I just it's a lot to put together in a short amount of time and so I'm basically trying to get the large points and we'll refine it later moral of the story is there we go so uh, in conclusion, basically we have our QT project, which incorporates uh, not only the custom code that I wrote as part of the QT, QT light switch itself, but um, it actually incorporates thing code from the DCE side as well, 
so that it can run. Uh, I know that sounds rather simplistic, but it's kind of a long explanation, and really you'll start to understand it once you dig in. Essentially what you're doing is, is you're passing reference objects in between both. So my QT object has reference objects, has, has a, a reference to all of the commands and whatnot that the DCE object has and vice versa. And even with the QML, that's what you're doing. You're basically passing a rough copy of the object to the QML so that the QML knows, oh, well, X, Y, or Z happens. You can correlate those to its own internal slots and functions. Anyways, so lastly, as I said, um, QT Creator 2.1.0 based on QT 4.7.1, 32-bit. Um, you can get this from their website. Make sure you pay attention to these versions because the older one does not include QT Quick as well as some other things and you will be a very confused panda. Um, see the forum thread and soon to be wiki for more information on this topic.